from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis says Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. On Monday, students in Manatee and Highlands County will be among the first in our area to go back to school. And with days to go, Manatee County leaders have updated their rules on masks one more time. The new policy states children and teachers who need a break from wearing their mask can take one as long as they are social distancing. Students have to ask a teacher before they can remove their mask. The rules also clarify masks are not required during gym class, recess or any other outdoor activity as long as they are now social distancing. Meanwhile, a lawsuit is taking aim at Hillsborough County's mask requirement. That lawsuit claims the requirement violates Florida's Constitution, and the goal is to empower parents to make decisions in their children's best interest. For now, if you live in Hillsborough County, you should still plan to send your child back to school with a mask on. The U.S. Postal Service is warning 46 states, including Florida, it cannot guarantee all ballots cast by mail will arrive in time to be counted this November. The Postal Service recently sent letters to all those states. Florida warns our deadlines for requesting, returning, and counting ballots could be too tight for postal workers to handle. This especially given how many people are expected to vote by mail this year. To find out how you can request a mail-in ballot and the deadline to do it, Go to abcactionnews.com slash vote. And now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. Hey, don't everybody. We continue to see scattered showers and storms winding down. Coverage on Friday a little bit lower than we've seen the last few days. I think they'll actually be more of the same on Saturday, meaning the morning will be quiet. A few late morning, early afternoon storms pushing inland. I do think coverage starts to increase a little bit, though, Sunday into Monday. Timing the same. Late morning, early afternoon along the coast, inland areas, Probably a better chance east of I-75 later in the afternoon. Josephine, still a tropical storm, barely no threat to land. And we're talking any land, the islands, Bermuda, nobody. And now we have a new storm, Kyle out there, believe it or not, <laughs> really does not look like a tropical storm to me. But regardless, it's racing off to the northeast and poses no threat whatsoever to land. So bottom line, our forecast shaping up pretty nicely. Not a bad weekend at all at the beach. Maybe some late morning, early afternoon showers along the coast. Otherwise clear overnight and Florida's most accurate seven day forecast keeps rain chances at about 40% Saturday and Sunday. A little higher though as we head into early next week and for that matter, the rest of next work week. All right, thanks, Dennis. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.